hey beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining today if you are new here guys please do not forget to click the subscribe button and support the movement thank you so much and today's video i want to talk about some reasons why you should study in ireland in 2024 now i want to draw your attention to something here remember ireland is an english-speaking country also remember that in ireland you can study a one-year master's program or you can study for just one year also remember that if you are in ireland and you do not speak english you can apply to english programs to study in ireland and do not forget that ireland will give you a permit to stay back in their country and look for your job so without wasting time let's go and talk about some other reasons why you should consider living in ireland and studying the first reason is the quality of education ireland of course is one of the top countries in europe with the best quality of education you recognize universities their degrees are equally recognized so if you are looking for a country ireland is the perfect country for you and now what are some of the universities you should look at if you look at Dublin Business School, they also have University College Cork, the University of Dublin. They also have University of Limerick. And there are also many other schools in Cork. You should consider them. Another reason why you should study in Ireland, which is very important, and I think this is one of the things most of us we are chasing from these countries, is there is a possibility for you to get postgraduate work visa what i mean here is after you finish your study program ireland is going to give you a permission to stay back in their country for two years and work and when you are looking for this job remember the, when you graduate the school is the person to give you a document to find the job now you will be looking for a job where the employer can give you a work permit and from this work permit you can now move to permanent residency in the nearest future so ireland is somehow very good for those with postgraduate masters you get two years and bsc students i think one year or two years or something but you can still have the possibility or there is still an advantage in looking for this job because you might just come across an employer that might just give you a document that will carry you direct to pr it depends on the job role and the description too so these are some of the opportunities you should consider now the next thing is career opportunities well if you didn't know most of the top companies especially the tech companies like technology companies i mean here yeah, we are talking about google we are talking about twitter we are talking about microsoft they are now transporting or bringing in their headquarters into ireland for example those who do youtube especially from the african continent you should have uh, maybe noticed that your payment most of the time come from google ireland that's to tell you that google is already in ireland and operating 100 percent now you can also have access to eu countries this is another reason you should consider in case you want to move to ireland or if you were thinking oh is ireland in europe yes it is a country in europe and the visa you are going to get will give you access to enter into other eu countries like switzerland hungary portugal germany the netherlands denmark and so many others the visa to ireland will permit you enter into most schengen countries and of course i don't think are there 28 or 27 countries in the european union you can equally enter for free without any transit visa tourist visa or whatsoever visa in as much as you are a student in ireland on a study visa another reason you should consider moving to ireland is accessibility to so many opportunities like part-time jobs now if you didn't know most countries some countries may not give you possibilities to work as a part-time student this is one thing i always tell internationals to consider but ireland will give you 20 hours a week same like canada meanwhile during the holidays you can work 40 hours throughout okay because it is the holiday so you have the permission to work 40 hours and i think canada is also 20 hours and 40 hours or is it canada 60 hours i don't remember but ireland has these part-time opportunities to give you as an international student and because of this you might end up raising money for your own academics like i told you before 
you can study a master's degree in Ireland for just one year. This is one of the shocking things I realized this year. I had never known that masters can take one year abroad. Until when I was doing research, I realized the Netherlands give master's programs for one year. Ireland give master's programs for one year. Meanwhile, so many other countries can do it. Even uh, Canada also has master's programs for one year. You can study as an international student. So this is a very good news for those who do not want to take time, those who do not want to pay extra tuition fee for the second year, right? You can check schools in Ireland. And a thing you should put into consideration when it comes to these Ireland study opportunities or why you should immigrate to Ireland as an international student is the culture. Ireland has a mixed race, a mixed culture. Like like different people coming from different areas, different cultures, different religious backgrounds. And thus, you have a lot to learn as an international student, coupled with the fact that they only speak English. So you have to put all of this into consideration before you apply to any school in Ireland. I hope you understand all these principles and put them into consideration. Then we are going to talk about the safety now. Safety is another thing that you should consider when you are looking for schools to study in Ireland because without safety you are not guaranteed you cannot guarantee anything but of course you can move around the street at any time you want and come back to your apartment without any issues this is common in most european countries but you have to note with ireland i am talking ireland because of course when you mention ireland a lot of people think it is the one in the uk no this is ireland we have the republic of ireland and we have northern ireland which is under the united kingdom so please this is the republic of ireland we are talking about another thing is the language i made mention of the language before and i'm going to be talking about it in a bit another fascinating reason we should be talking about ireland is the language issue now i usually hear a lot of people or let me say i have a lot of followers who always say milton um is the language of instruction english is the language of that country in english yes this is a country you should now put into consideration because the language there is english of course you guys know uk is english right everything in uk is english again ireland is english if you didn't know so if you are targeting only english countries why not apply to ireland but remember as you gain admissions you have to pay the tuition if the school is charging one year complete tuition you have to pay the tuition before you can apply for visa and again do not forget while you are doing preparation always put into consideration the proof of funds which is ten thousand euros you need to prove after paying your tuition so you need to put all of this into consideration it's not going to be an easy task but again it is for your own advantage because the embassy need the payment receipts and of course your bank statement in order to grant you a visa so this is another reason you should take a look at let's take a look at networking now because it is an english destination a lot of international students want to study in this country therefore you have a lot of people a lot of ways to network with other students coming from other nationalities and this way if you are a business person it's going to help you a lot because creating networks or maybe linking up in a foreign country with different people can boost your business somehow this is a fact i'm telling you so you should consider ireland in case you want to study september october most schools in ireland are still open but remember some will ask you to show evidence of uh, IELTS, why others would not. So it just depends on the university you want to apply to. And do not forget that when you apply to this university, it's going to take some time. And when you are offered an admissions letter, they don't give you enough time. Like you have probably maybe maximum 20 or 25 days to pay the first tuition deposit. Because if you don't pay, your position will be given to another person. And do not go for visa application without all your documents ready. Because if you go with incomplete documents, that is where the problem is. A part of Ireland, if you wish to study in the UK, you should also consider the UK. But again, I want to draw your attention to the fact that the United Kingdom has a lot of laws in place. Dependents cannot more move with families. For Ireland, you can't still move with your family. But hey, after you get a job, and of course, when you are already maybe two years or more in Ireland, and 
I think there is a possibility for you to bring your family in. But for the UK, there is no way you cannot bring your family. However, if you are looking for other countries that you want to migrate with family, you should look at one, Finland, though admissions is closed at the moment. Two, Portugal. Portugal is still open and accepting application. Three, Austria. Austria will be opening very soon. Four, Canada. Canada only accepts dependents for those who are going for master's degree. That is to say the dependents can only get um, spouses open work permit if they are going for master's and PhD now. Then if you equally want to move with your family, apply to schools in Denmark, apply to schools in the Netherlands, and of course apply to schools in the US. Remember, in the United States of America, your spouse cannot work though they can come with you. That is another issue. There are so many other countries you can immigrate to but their spouse can join you later okay i hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one week